Okay, lastly, related about that, because last couple of weeks, this was going on debate about uh, junior developers. I think the AWS um, CTO um, or somebody from AWS was mentioning um, to breaking the junior developers out of the line is going to give a lot of harm to ecosystem because of like in five years of time, if you don't have junior developers to train and make them to work in the real world problems, then you won't have any enough developers. Like for example, in Go, there are, I think like according to JetBrains, there are like 2.2 million Go developers currently. If it's not raising, then it will be a problem. And if the LLM is not going to be able to take care of a lot of things, then it's going to be really, really a problem. What do you think they're removing the junior developers from the ecosystem? What would be the consequences? I think it's, uh, it's bad. This is a while ago. A company I worked for about a decade ago, New Star, brought in a woman's professor, I think at MIT, who had been a fighter pilot at one point. And she had been, she left, she, when she, she said in her talk, if I remember this correctly, that she left the Navy, and she was a fighter pilot in the Navy, when they saw the planes doing the, they, the, the planes had the landings, doing the landings on the, on the aircraft carriers, apparently it's the hardest thing in the world to do. And they had the computers doing it. It's like, uh, what's the future for fighter pilots when, the, when the, the planes can land themselves? Like, that's the hardest part. And they're doing that already. And she's like, I better get out of here. And she did. And I kind of, and I had the same thought when I first heard the story, like 10 years, like, so who would be the new fighter pilots, right? If we are going to have this world where the planes are so good at this, well, great. We still need fighter pilots, don't we? Or maybe we don't. Maybe there'll all be drones, but I don't think that's true. I think there would still be people in planes at some point. So I think the bar on who becomes a fighter pilot probably goes up. I think the bar on who becomes a software engineer probably goes up. That you don't need as many software engineers, right? That I think probably the world we end up in is the people who are doing that kind of low-level work where you need a software engineer who has a training, a strong background in computer science. The number of those positions may be shrinking because the LLMs are doing some of that work. I think people who just go into code camps and like you know spend six weeks and now you're a JavaScript developer, I think that's a dead end path now because the level, not that those people aren't smart or capable, it's just the level of training you can get in six weeks or six months in how to program is not the deep enough knowledge to understand the whole system view you need as you're using LLMs to do the same work. And so in, in that case, yeah, those junior developers are going to go away. I think if companies are like, oh, we're not going to hire any juniors anymore, they're going to run to the exact problem you just described that AWS is describing, where who, who are my future seniors if I have no juniors? I, I think what you're going to find is that people who, who, who know this well and know the topics well and they know that full stack and they know where the LLM is working well and not working well. Um, are the people who are going to succeed as software engineers in the future. And this is, this is harder, right? This is, this is without a doubt a harder path than the last 30 years. I've been kind of lucky in my career. I started working just as the dot-com boom took off, and it's kind of ending now just as LLMs are coming in to replace software engineers <laughs> for a lot of jobs, right? So it's perfect timing.